simply remove this. You can take this off. The machine will not operate when the guard is off. And uh, that way when you're moving stamps, removing them, uh, you don't have to worry about stepping on the pedal and uh, having the machine operate. So it just slides uh, right into As soon those. as you uh, are ready to use it, you just slide that right in there and you're ready to go. And now, now it would, it would now engage if you... It would yeah. engage at this point in time, yes. Great. So. This is how you change the dies out. Take the Allen wrench, which is included in the package. Loosen that up. To loosen it a little more. And we'll oh. just change it up and just slide the next one in. Tell me a little bit about what this is over here. That is the air control. That will allow you to determine the air pressure that is actually going down onto the piece. So you've actually got three different um, functions. You have the temperature control, which will allow you to set the temperature to right. whatever you desire. The air control will allow you to determine the pressure and the dwell time will allow you to uh, determine how long you want it to uh, actually stamp, physically stamp your piece before you're stopping. Okay, and, and is it this, the air is controlling the... The air the, is controlling the, 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 the pressure on the uh, cylinder The here. cylinder yes, pressure. Yes, Okay, mm -hmm. good. So this is the foil pool on and off switch and then yes. what's that gauge tell you this yeah that will that will change allowing you to set how much how much foil you pull away oh. if your stamp is one inch long or if it's four inches long you're going to pull a different amount of foil out and then what about the dwell time the dwell time that is determines how long it's setting on your the stamp is setting on your material. Right. So that is, uh, right now it's set at two tenths of a second. Oh, so it's very uh, fast. Point two seconds. Very quick. Just place it on your holder here. You can adjust it back and forth to wherever you want it. Stick your finger, heat it underneath, come back, push that thing down slightly. And that will enable you to pull it right into place wherever you want it. Okay. At that point, you should be ready. Fine tune, make sure everything's correct, placed. And this. There's your guiding there's system. Guide system numbered. And based on the width, you are based on do the width. Here. This would be. You would go to half of the width that you're doing. Ah, that that'll help it get centered. So, of course, you can fine tune. That's an approximation. Tune. You would still need to fine tune at that point. And another good tip is always use a piece of material uh, that you're not going to uh, use piece. As, as a yeah a test piece to to uh, calibrate the alignment. With using the foils, you do want to use the foil pull. Switch that yeah. up. The light will go on. This can be adjusted. 0.5 would be approximately one inch of pull. That is, that can vary slightly. We would probably want to set it to about, at that point, that will give you about two inches of pull, okay. give or take a little bit. The heat adjust right now, it's at 266 degrees. It's set at 275. This can be set simply by pushing this to whichever point that you would prefer having that. Okay. And then the red button confirms your set. The red button would confirm the set. Okay. This is how long your dwell time, how long the stamp is actually stamping on the foil. So we want to set that down to about 
a little more than two tenths of a second and that yep. can be changed very quick as then. you're um, stamping as well okay so at this point you can go in place your stamp and look at and that there you are that's with the gray foil and you can see the logo there and there are other colors available as well this is this is using the hot stamp with no foil right on reflective you can you can get an idea how you could put your logo and as you can see it it shows up right on the reflective that's that's interesting and if someone wanted to get one of these machines how would they go about doing that um simply we build the machines um not just to order that it is a standard machine